I wrote the book because I felt that many of the uh, white collar crimes uh, which were imposing fatalities that were actually killing people were going unprosecuted. I uh, was inspired by BP. Uh, when the Gulf spill took place, I began nosing around and digging into it and discovered that BP had been operating in this country for well over a decade and had pled guilty um, to several criminal charges and had paid fines and yet was still operating in the most rampant, irresponsible way to the point where we had the Gulf spill, which was not only devastating for the environment of the Gulf, but also killed 11 people. I have case studies in the book of very disturbing events from the shipment of meningitis contaminated steroid injections by uh, this pharmacy in Massachusetts that killed dozens of people to the collapse of the upper big branch mine in which 29 men perished. And when you actually delve into some of these very uh, uh, disastrous industrial catastrophes, you see that uh, the behavior had mounted for years. It was conscious recklessness. The other thing that surprised me very much is that the Department of Dress Justice has adopted a practice which I think is very bad. It's, it's increased tremendously under President Obama, uh, surprisingly, of um, actually signing deferred prosecution agreements that require corporations to pay huge sums of money but do not require them to plead guilty to a crime. We have to stop this kind of rampant behavior and the best way to do that is through criminal prosecution.